I believe, I don't know that it's a portal, mm. but there's a point eventually above Monterey Bay, almost in the middle, about 200 feet above the water, where these ships come in all the time. They always come to the same spot. They show up there out of nowhere and all of a sudden they're there. Okay? Mm -hmm. And there's been, uh, I've seen a number of different types of ships do that. Um, what I think that is, it's either a wormhole, <laughs> or it's a permanent one, uh, between that point on the Earth and somewhere else, or it's a point of entry, like a customs checkpoint, where the military monitors one spot because that's where they're allowed to come in. Right. So in other words, there's an agreement. I don't think that they're coming in just on their own randomly. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I believe they're being monitored. That's why they come to that one point. It's a, it's a, it's a second point. Okay, and if you're watching or you watched Diana's video before this video, uh, again, we're in Santa Cruz. We're at, I call him the Bay Watcher. He doesn't want to be identified. He doesn't want his name out there. So uh, the Bay Watcher has been living in this house for four years. He has observed UFOs, a variety of different type of UFOs in Monterey Bay. Um, when I lived in Monterey Bay, I heard a buzzing sound. A lot of people report that they sometimes hear a buzzing sound and they think there's a theory that there's a UFO base in Monterey Bay. So tonight, Deanna, myself, and the Bay Watcher will be out on the beach observing the night sky and seeing if we can pick up or see UFOs.